I heard Eric talk about that his dad would say, go on upstairs to your room, Eric. I'll be up in a minute. And it's like, all of a sudden, all these little pieces of the puzzle are just falling into place. Yeah. I remember that, and, and all of a sudden, it, it makes sense, because Eric would be fine going upstairs. And Jose would go upstairs to be with Eric. And he would be up there for a while. I mean, long enough for us to make the dinner, long enough for us to eat it, and then to oh, clean the kitchen. Yeah. But then Jose would come back downstairs and say, Eric isn't feeling well. He's not going to eat right now. Right. I'll give him his dinner later. Well, I've never realized that until Eric said what he did. And it's just like, like, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Eric and Lyle are my two cousins that are the children of Kitty and Jose. Kitty is my mom's younger sister. And my relationship with them was, I felt like I was Law and Eric's older sister. I lived with them for over a year, and that would have been in 1982 and 83. And it's been so many years, and I didn't think there was anything more for me to remember. And I'm realizing, oh, yes, there is. Now, I, you know, and I remember this time, we were in the house, and Eric had to have lemon. Oh, yeah. And it was, he wasn't being a spoiled brat about it or no, anything. He, he, he was yeah. just desperate. I remember the lemon thing you several do? times. Oh, yeah. And he would just fall apart. He was just like, oh, my God. When we were at my dad's in Texas, he had to have a lemon. And my dad made fun of him. Mm. When he explained why he had to have it, it just... He oh. said it was the same way with ketchup. Yes. Because Eric was made to swallow the semen. He found out that if he used a lot of ketchup or lemons, it would make the taste in his mouth go away. That just became a way of life. How vile all this was going on in our lives that we weren't aware of it, and Eric never told anybody. Right. I just never, you know, now. Well, we don't go, our mind doesn't go that way. No. I don't know if they ever would have told me, told me, any, told anybody what they were enduring. Um, it's, it, it wasn't a thing that boys wanted to let anybody know that they were having sex with their father. No one would ever go down that hall and go in that room and interrupt or see what's going on or anything, including Kitty. They are such good people and they were tortured. <laughs> their dad tortured them and their mom let it happen. It didn't it run interference or stop anything or defend them. A while back, I remember telling Kyle and Eric how horrible I felt that they were in jail. And finally, Lyle stopped me and said, Diane, don't. I'm happier than I've ever been. He feels better living in prison than he did living with his mom and dad. What does that say? 